All right, welcome. This is the AP Physics Workbook Solutions. Here we have Unit 6, Simple Harmonic Motion, Section 6.B, Simple Harmonic Motion and Energy Review. Here's the scenario. A card of mass M is attached to an ideal spring that can stretch and compress equally well. The natural length of the spring without the cart is at point E. The car and spring rests on a smooth angle track. The cart is pulled to a position A and then released. The cart then moves towards E, where it reverses direction and returns to its position A. Okay? So to do this, we would have to look at the energy in a simple harmonic motion. And I would like to show you what's in your book for your notes. Okay? Here's the scenario. Okay? To stretch or compress the spring, work has to be done. Please understand that work has to be done and work has to be put into the system. Hence, the potential energy stored in stretching or compressing a spring, we already seen it here. The elastic potential energy is given as 1 half kx squared. Please understand, k is referred to as the spring constant. The total energy, E, is the sum of the kinetic and potential energy. Here we have the, kin um, the kinetic, 1 half mv squared, and the potential, 1 half kx squared where v is the speed and of the mass m at a distance x from the equilibrium. The law of conservation of energy includes both the gravitational and spring potential energies. Here you go. Kinetic energy, potential energy, gravity, potential energy in the spring. All of this initial is going to be equal to that equals to the final. Remember, the work would be final minus initial. Okay. Here's how it looks like in this scenario. Let's Okay, the energy change from the potential energy to the kinetic energy and and back again as the spring oscillates. Okay, so here we notice at x equals to zero is at equilibrium. So when it's compressed at x equals to negative a, okay, at this point it's fully compressed at its amplitude. Here the velocity is zero. There's no kinetic energy. It's all potential. It's all one half k a squared. a is just referred to the amplitude. You could also consider that x if you like. Okay? Do you notice in the energy chart, it's all potential. Now, once it starts moving and it goes and it reaches equilibrium, it's all kinetic energy at the equilibrium because all the potential energy is now converted to 1 half v squared. It passes through equilibrium and it goes all the way to the other side until it hits x equals to positive a. Okay, this is on the other side. This is the other amplitude. Okay, and it's all potential at that point. The potential here from a, then it goes to all kinetic, then it goes all back to potential. Okay, this is a frictionless surface, right? Then likewise, it comes back in. In the immediate step, between the equilibrium and between the um, full kinetic is a combination of the potential and kinetic energies, okay? All right. So using our notes, we can now do this, okay? So at A, it has no kinetic energy, no gravitational spring, it's all gravit um, all gravitation um, spring potential. Okay, so let's fill that in here. It's all spring potential. Uh, now, how far do they want it? Uh, they go up there, right? I uh, think it looks like this. Right, they want it like this. And how far is it? Two apart. Okay, two apart. Good. All right. So, because it's at the bottom, there's no gravitational potential. This is also where it's fully stretched. That is why it has all gra uh, all spring potential. Okay, exactly like what it says here. All spring potential. All right. Okay. All right. Now, when it reaches E. Okay. When it reaches e, E, what happens when it reaches E? Okay, we we know that natural the natural length of the spring without the cart 
is is at E. So E is is at its equilibrium. So I want you to understand that the natural length right here, the natural length of the spring The natural length of the spring out the cart is at point E. That means this is at equilibrium. This is why at this point it has no kinetic energy and it has no spring as well. Okay? So it has zero, zero. All right? So I try to make it at zero zero okay what about here so for for it to go from here to here it has to be transferred right so here when it's at B is it gonna have kinetic or potential a lot of people think it's here's the um, here is the difference was like this much so let's see a lot of people think it's all kinetic is it all kinetic? No, it can't be all kinetic because as it moves to point B, do you see how here it gains some height? So there is some potential. Now the question is this, is, is there more kinetic or is there more potential? Okay, notice here it's right after, it's right after the, it's right after the when it's full potential. So here it's full potential. So at B, it has some kinetic, but not a lot. Okay. So there is more gravitational potential than kinetic. Why? Because again, the potential is slowly converting into kinetic. Good. At this point, when it's at C, okay, it has some gravitational potential because again there's a height what is its kinetic energy well it's moving so it was from here so it's going to go a little bit higher right and the rest is going to be still in potential of the spring because again it is still compressed all right e i want you to understand e is when it's at equilibrium okay equilibrium okay e is when it's at equilibrium besides that everything else there should be some gravity um, spring potential okay now next let's look at where it's point d point d okay do you see how slowly slowly it's going up to gravitational potential so this has to be a little bit higher Because it's gaining the MGH, okay? So it's gaining the MGH. So this has, if you think about the height, there is some. So think about this. This is like H equals to zero is right here, all right? And at equilibrium, think about this as. full h all right this is the full height this is the total height at e okay so as it approaches e the gravitational potential should go up all right that means is it still going to have kinetic at point d yes because it's not all converted to gravitational potential yet. Okay, so let's see, it should be something like this. Okay, remember these all three have to equal this total. Same thing, okay, all this, all the areas here have to be the same because the areas here represents the total energy in the system, okay? Lastly, at point E, it's at equilibrium, right? This is its natural state at here, it's all gravitational potential. There's no kinetic here. 
and there is uh, a spring potential because here what it's its velocity okay All right okay its velocity here is going to be zero a lot of people think there is kinetic but not in this sense because it doesn't oscillate here all right so e is that it's the natural car of the spring with without the car is at point e okay so don't get fooled about saying there's kinetic energy here all right okay so write a short narrative explaining the thought process that allows you to fill in the bar chart in part a give me a second while i write this out okay all right so for part b okay the narrative that i wrote is a lot okay so the first thing is the total energy of the bar in each point has to be the same due to the conservation of energy so if the area here is 20 right here this has to, the sum of the areas here has to be 20 20 20 20 okay at point a here it has all spring potential energy because the car is stretched to its maximum distance without breaking so it has all one half kx squared its k is at is amplitude so it's all potential as the object goes from a to e the object moves up the inclined plane where it gains gravitational po potential energy from an increase in height okay from h0 to e it gains a height from point b c and d there is some kinetic energy from the cart being moved the system never fully converts into kinetic energy because there's some gravitational potential due to the incline. The K never goes up to fully 20. Okay. At the end, which is at point E, the object is at point E where it has all gravitational potential, no string potential because there's no stretch, there's no X value or compression, and the object is not moving, so there's no kinetic or spring potential good next part c okay does the energy bar chart depend on the chart moving left or right or up the track okay so does this here depend on anything well look at a and c notice that it's all potentials right but it doesn't really say if it's moving left or right all right so what i wrote is that i said here that the energy cart does not depend on whether the cart is moving left or right okay the squared on the kinetic energy and the spring potential we get rid of the direction part the squared here so if x is negative right negative displacement from equilibrium the squared will make it positive okay and again, same thing with velocity. If it's in the negative velocity compared to the equilibrium, the squared here will get rid of it. That's mathematically speaking. Or physically speaking, you could say the energy change is the same whether the object is moving left or right. Okay. Part D. As the car is moving from A to E, the total energy of the system should be the same um, at each labeled point. Explain why this is the case. If the energy bar does not show this relationship, they make the correction. Okay. Um, I did actually say that here that all the um all the energies here are supposed to be the same okay but let me write an explanation on why all right the conservation of energy states that for a system with no external forces the work done is the change in kinetic energy that means uh, kinetic energy final has to be equal to uh, sorry energy final has to be equal to energy initial okay the cart the earth cart spring system has the total has the total mechanic energy of the system being conservative okay in this situation this system earth car and spring there was no external forces hence that's the reason for conserv conservation of energy if the earth is taken out of the system okay there would be an external force if you are just looking at the cart spring okay the area here wouldn't be um possible because there is an earth part okay that would be getting energy okay so let me show you what i mean all right so this is the earth cart spring system all right earth cart spring system 
okay? I have the earth cart spring system, okay? The earth is be is supplying the uh, UG, UG, the UG part, okay? The um, spring is the spring potential, right? Spring potential, and the cart is the mass, so that is the one half uh, mv squared. All right. In this situation where let's say the earth is taken off and we just look at just the sp spring cart spring system. OK. All right. OK. So is there gravitational potential? Nope. 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 There you go. Alright, this is the cart spring system. This is how it looked like. Because again, the cart is the one half mv squared, right? And the spring is the one half kx squared, right? The earth is the g part. Okay, there's no earth, there's no g. There's no g, there's no gravitational potential. Alright? Now, let me show you how the um, earth cart system would look like, all right? Earth cart. So let's say earth cart, there's no spring, all right? This is one half um, mv squared. This is one half, um, this is mgh, okay? This goes away, this goes away, this goes away, and this goes away. This is how the earth cart system looks like. Now let me show you what the um, earth spring system, earth spring system looks like. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, you couldn't really do that because you do sort of need a mass. Okay, so that's going to be weird. All right, but there you go. That's what I'm trying to explain to you how it would look like, okay? All right. So let's look at part E, okay? As the cart moves from A to E, the gravitational potential should increase the same amount between each label point. Explain why, in this case, if your energy bar does not show this relationship, make the connection. All right, so let me write this out for you. All right, so I said the gravitational potential energy is U equals mgh is directly proportioned to the change in the height of the car. As h increase from the car moving up the incline, the gravitational potential energy of the earth cart system increased directly. I misspelled potential energy here, okay? Let's look at part F here. As the cart moves from E to A, where's E? From E to A, so that's the equilibrium. All right, so it goes from E to A. So it has goes from gravi all gravitational potential all the way to spring potential, okay? Uh, the spring potential should increase quadratically between each point. Explain why in this case, if your energy does not show this relationship, makes the correction. All right, so let me pause. I wrote, the spring potential energy increases quadratically because the spring potential energy is proportional to x squared. U is equal to 1 half kx squared. As t, at every time x increases, the potential energy increased by x squared. We should see here, in the example up here, it, be, it behaves the, the same exact thing right here. So, the... The potential energy here, okay, is defined as one half kx squared. Notice the squared here is what I was referring to as what is increasing it by a factor squared. Okay, so the potential energy here. So if x goes to two, the squared here makes this a four. So the potential energy here quadruples. Okay. All right. Good. And that's it. That is um, all your solutions for six point B.